Righto, so the third example. A cylindrical soup can is to be made from 600 square centimetres of metal. Find its maximum capacity. Uh, so, this is going to be using some equations for the total surface area and the volume of a cylinder. And what I'll say is that at this point in the course, you kind of expect it to know those rules. So, um, you know, if you're not 100% on, then make sure that you brush up on them because it'll be really handy for this topic. So, we have a cylinder. Uh, the equations that I'm going to be using here are the total surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. And I know that, that total surface area must be 600 square centimetres because that's what I'm being told in the question. So 600 equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. I could simplify it a bit by dividing everything by 2. So 300 equals pi r squared plus pi r h. The other equation that I need to use is the volume. And so the volume of a cylinder is given by pi r squared h. Now again, we've got the problem that these equations have two variables and they have r and h. So I need to rearrange one of them and it's going to be from rearranging this one here. I can either find r or h, but it's actually going to be much easier to find h because there is just a single h in this rule. And so if I move everything over to the other side, then I should be able to isolate that and then substitute into the volume equation. So first thing first, I'm going to take away pi r squared from both sides. 300 minus pi r squared equals pi r h. And then all I need to do is divide by pi r. So 300 minus pi r squared over pi r is equal to h. I'm actually going to leave it in that form. I could divide by the pi r, which would simplify the pi r squared. However, it would make the 300 a bit nastier. So I think it's not really going to benefit us if we take that any further. But now I have h in terms of r only. And so I can substitute that into the volume equation. So the volume is equal to pi r squared times 300 minus pi r squared over pi r. And now this looks actually heaps better because I can actually just uh, simplify the pi r's now. So this pi is going to cancel out with this one and this r is going to cancel out with one of these. And so I have v equals, and I can just expand it now, r times each of these is going to be 300r minus pi r cubed. So again, I want to find the maximum in this case. I've got an equation which is in terms of a single variable, which is great. So I can just differentiate and then make the derivative equal zero. So dv dr is going to be 300 minus 3 pi r squared. And let dv dr equal zero for the maximum. Now, again, uh, this is going to be a, as the volume equation here, that's a negative cubic. So the shape of it is going to be something like that. So we're looking for this maximum here. And if I have zero equals 300 minus three pi r squared, I can then rearrange that to solve. So I'll add three pi r squared on both sides. I can divide by three on both sides. So pi r squared equals 100. I can divide by pi on both sides. So r squared equals 100 over pi. And then I need to take the square root. So r equals, remember when you're doing it like this, when you take the square root, you have to have a plus or minus square root of 100 over pi. Now, that's not a particularly nice answer, 
Um, again, you know, the point on the left here is going to have the smaller value of r, so that's the negative root 100 on pi. And this one here, the maximum will be the positive root 100 on pi. So what I can say is that the max occurs when r equals the square root of 100 on pi. Now we're not finished the question yet because we need to actually find the maximum capacity. So I need to substitute that into the volume rule. And it's going to be, again, easiest for me to use this one just here because that's only in terms of r. It's not going to do much good if I go back here because I would still have a h that I'd have to find and I'd have to go back to using this one over here, which is just kind of messy. So much easier, we're just going to substitute into this line right here. So V equals 300 times the square root of 100 on pi. And then minus pi times the square root of 100 on pi. All cubed that should be. And I'm not going to try to do that with a cal without a calculator, so I'll bring this on here up again. Just get rid of this here. And I'm just going to type in 300 times, I'll bring up the keyboard. So it's the square root of 100 on pi. And then minus, whoops, better not do that. Make sure to get out of the square root there minus pi times the square root of 100 on pi. And that gets cubed. So we get 1,128.38. And that's centimeters cubed. Seems good. So that is the maximum capacity of this particular tin can. Um, alternatively, we can do this on the calculator as well. So if I graph the equation for V, so I'll just write Y equals 300 minus 3 pi, uh, sorry, 300 X minus pi X cubed. graph it. So by the way that's coming from this line right here. Okay. Um, so we can see that right there. If I just make my max go up to 1200 then I can find out by going analysis g solve max that the x coordinate is 5.64, which apparently is the square root of 100 on pi, and the y coordinate is 1128.38. So, again, these questions can be done on the calculator, but it's really important to be able to work through them like this. And as I said at the start of the video, if you're not 100% sure on these rules, then make sure to brush up on them uh, because they will make life a fair bit easier in this topic. Anyway, that's all for now, so I will see you all later.